Okay, so for this this case here, uh, how many different ways can the can can sorry there are only one can the canister uh be placed on the bases? So essentially, there are only ten right. These are all ten factorial. The 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 positions are all distinct. Okay, so it's just is it ten ten factorial? Right? Just answer. This will be three six two eight eight zero zero. Okay, great. So let's look at the first one. Now this part here, if two particular, meaning out of the, okay, the first thing is the object is very important. Huh? You need to know what you're referring to. There are 10 canisters. So you have, uh, you need to think about the two particular versus the eight, non, eight other. Lah. Okay. So this is already chosen, like these two particular canisters. Let me read the question properly. Basis mark A, B, C, D. Okay, great must not be placed on any of the four bases so because maybe they are photo sen sen sensitive so you can't really put them direct to sunlight so you can't put them here you can only put them in this middle here yeah this this six here right so what to do you actually first thing is do you need to choose okay first of all do you need to 10 choose two can you need to do that no ah uh, so you don't do 10 choose two ah uh. You cannot do chance choose two because two particular uh, is already fixed. Okay, so you you can two choose two if you want to lah. But uh, okay, I I'll just put two choose two here. Okay, then after that, what to do? You uh, the eight other right? Four. Right? Okay. Then after that, after that, you can arrange ah. So here to arrange here, with six factorial, this six. Uh. Then the other four, you can group them together and put four factorial. Or if not, you can four choose two times two factorial, then two choose two times two factorial again. It's the same thing. You, you understand what I'm saying? So I, I repeat ah. Okay, the the other four, you can you can of course uh four choose two times two factorial here, and then two choose two times two factorial here. It's fine. The remaining are two. You you get the answer, but you can also four factorial straight because you can actually group these two together. Okay, you, you can actually see that like just group them. Uh. One, two. Uh. <laughs> you do by this is uh two choose two times eight choose four. Then this will be six factorial. This is first one. Then after that, uh four choose two. Okay. Then times two choose two. Maybe I just write this down. You can put fact four factor as well. So this thing, uh, the four factorial is faster because you just combine them together. But of course, if you do not like the four factorial thing, you can always separate it up. It's fine. That's a beauty. I I really amazed by it. In A level, what happened is uh the last part of the PNC usually is a difficult one. I don't suggest you do PNC the first, okay? Please don't go and do... I, I know some students would be OCD. They always don't do the first question to the last, right? But PNC, please leave it to the last. You, for when, when you, exam techniques, are, guys, when you do your stats paper, right, do the easier ones like binomial, DRV, uh, linear regression, and then normal first. Do the last few. Then only then you do the pure math part. Then only leave PNC for the last, okay? So typically, the first few part is... It, the, these two parts should be quite manageable. The third part may need a bit thinking, like the last part. Lah. So if two particular canisters must not be placed to each other, this is the, the way I would think about. Uh, this would be... I, I do not want to do the direct method. I'm not going to do direct method because I think that one will be quite time-consuming. Okay? I will do the complement method. I'll take a uh, number of no restriction. Total number of no restriction minus of uh, two of them uh, next two next to each other uh, on the same side on the same side make sense so you no restriction we already know no restriction is uh, essentially uh, 10 factorial okay 10 factorial so uh, next to each other. Okay, this one a bit tricky. Uh, so you follow me a bit. Uh, I think not that tricky ones. You know. 
two of them. Uh. I didn't interpret wrongly, right? The question two players must not be placed next to each other on the Okay, so they they you do not want them to be together here. So say these two 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 canisters here, you do not want the canister canister one canister two to be together like that. All right. But but it's okay for for the canister to be like that lah. This is okay. Uh, th th this is okay. Like right. this is okay. On the same side, but not uh, next to each other is okay. Okay, but you what you want is essentially uh, you what you do not want is the one which are next to each other. Like that. The easier method for this one is you count how many possible ways they can be can be grouped together like that. So you have uh for me ah, uh, you can actually one the C can be here, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. You understand what I'm saying? These are the possible groups they can. It's just eight of them, uh, Eight of these spots that you can sit in, right? So let's say we consider one of these, which is like that. So you know that this one can times two factorial here. Then the rest will just be, the the rest here will just be eight factorial. Right? Okay, the the positions are distinct, uh, So it's just eight factorial like that, right? This is the easiest way to see, lah. So essentially, it's just. 2 factorial times A factorial for this particular grouping where C1 and C2 are this, on these two slots. Then you, you imagine like they move on 1, 2, for every one group, uh, you have this amount of arrangement. So you just times 8. Uh. I think this is the fastest way. <laughs> Sometimes I will miss out some stuff. Uh. So essentially it's 2, 9, 8, 3, 6, 8, 0. This is the faster way of doing it. Okay, But of course you can also choose them. Definitely you arrange it prop, uh, slowly in. Okay, so uh, this is method one. Okay, so for method two is what I usually teach you all. Uh, first of all, two choose two, but you don't really need to choose because there are two particular canister. Then you group them together like that. This will be uh, then eight choose three, right? Am I right? Eight other choose three. Then you'll be five choose five. Lah. Okay, but remember, because this is one, two, entity, two, three, four, group them, right? This is four factorial. So it's, then this one is five factorial. Lah. But among them, you can two factorial. Uh, among this uh, C1, C2 group inside here, you can just two factorial them. Uh. This is uh, this is four entity. It's good to have a few trick up the sleeve, uh, so try not to. So this is uh, two choose two times eight choose three times four factorial times two factorial times five factorial. Then don't forget. Uh, you can see C1 and C2 have two rows, so you can times two. So of course, this is a, a much uh, a lengthier way, but it's a more methodological, like it's a more step-by-step -step process, okay, to, to do it. So this is two methods here uh, for this uh, case. I will write down the, 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 the reasoning. Let me just... Just this a bit. 